Hi everybody, it's Bob Morabito from Haynes Hunter HQ here in Ellerslie and today I want to give you a little bit of a run through on the new SP725 Haynes Hunter that's just exited the factory. Let me come and show you a few details. Now one of the reasons Haynes Hunter you'll hear everybody talk about the ride. Now the ride is obviously the hull and it comes down to a bunch of features that are exclusive to Haynes Hunter. The fine entry on the bow to let the boat slice through the water, the big flare to exit the water as you're going through the rough stuff, and of course the Haynes Hunter big planing strakes underneath. Now those three combinations lead to an awesome ride. Now the 725 series has been out for over 10 years now and that replaced the ever popular 700 series and this is a completely new hull top to bottom, front to back, inside and out, and a couple of new models that um, have helped enhance that 725 series. So let me take you along the back and show you a few of the features. So while we're at the back of the boat, the one of the options that's most popular is the 50 litre built-in stainless steel food safe water tank. Handy for getting a quick shower off if you're getting out of the salt water, and also to um, to have a freshen up in the morning if you're overnighting. On the other side of the boat is the plug-in for the deck wash. Now the deck wash is important if you're into the fishing mode, you're getting a lot of blood and guts inside, you want to keep the boat clean. The deck wash pump plugs in from the rear and you can stand right up at the helm station and wash everything down to the back of the boat into the bilge and have it extracted through the bilge pump. So a good feature in the boat. Now. The bait station, which would normally sit on the port side, the starboard side, or even in the middle, gives you a, a pretty versatile range of options, whether you're using it to sit a barbecue on, if you're having a few uh, nibbles in the afternoon, whether you're fishing, or in fact you're just using it as a table for lunch. And the fact that it can go in three different positions is, again, another good little feature. The live bait tank, which is situated in the step up on the platform has an aerator system in it which is coming through a stainless steel pickup at the back of the boat and that runs in combination with the deck wash to have either an aerator going or have your deck wash going. Great little feature, keeps all the liveies literally alive and if you're not fishing for the day it's a good little receptacle for a couple of bags of party ice and um, a few tins of uh, Fanta or lemonade. Also at the back of the boat, staying out late at night, just with your normal nav lights on, these boats are now fitted with blue and white LED underwater lights. Now these things throw an amazing arc out around the back of the boat at night. Uh, leads nice, nice for a little bit of mood setting, but also if you wanted to throw a bait catcher over the side, they're great for bringing the little fish around, the bait fish around at night. So if you've got young kids on board, great little thing to show the grandkids. Okay, so sitting at the back, you'll notice the engine is missing from the transom, where the, the, the choice of engines for this boat currently run from a 225 V6 right up to the 300 V6. And there are variations in this for those of you that might be wanting to consider Hellmaster at a later stage in life. The electronic steering system is already built into some of the Yamaha engines, so it's less to do later on. Um, so if that uh, Hellmaster aspect is gonna be a consideration, it's good to talk to us about that so we can make sure we've got the right engine on for you right from the start, rather than having to look at a repair in another year or two. The best time to do this is right at the beginning. Now here at Haynes Hunter HQ, we have all the Haynes Hunters are uh, going out on DMW trailers, which we've had a long association with. DMW trailers have um, a very strong central chassis for the boat and a number of different options available to make your boating more pleasurable. Not the least of which is a Balex system, the self-loading launch and retrieve, and that can be um, have a, a, a power winch put on the front as well if you want to use that sort of option. The braking system now uh, is Credo Brakes, which is a Bluetooth braking system, simply plugs into your car's accessory position, does not need to be hardwired. So if you are towing the boat with other family members' cars, simple case of switching over the Bluetooth connection and you're away boating. 
Okay, so now we're on board the new SP725. Quick run through of some of the features. High up in the hard top, your VHF radio and Bluetooth stereo mounted, together with your LED lighting. And as you progress further back, speakers built into the hard top and the pillars. That gives a really good bass response for music. Nice and, and uh, entertaining. Now, as you get down the back of the boat, the seating configuration is adaptable for social or fishing aspects. This is one of the greatest things I love about this boat. The rear seat's nice and comfortable, but let them disappear in a flash and you've got plenty more fishing room. Nice bolster right at the back of the boat when you're playing that big one. Um, over this side is your storage area for freshwater pumps and wash down hoses. And then on the other side is where all your battery system goes. Traditionally a twin battery system. One for all the accessories, a house battery so you can stay overnight, that sort of stuff. And a high heavy duty um, start battery. Um, <coughs> with the extra space at the back formed by the seats, you've still got the two back-to-back -back seats here which remain in fixed position and they've got craters of storage underneath, kit bags, dive bottles and under this side the Haynes development team have expertly designed an inbuilt freezer. Now this is unusual for a powerboat, traditionally the plug-on uh, fridges is the option but the guys have developed the freezer unit with um, miniature freezer gear up front, a complete easy clean freezer system, so you're good for weekends or just the daytime use. Uh, one of the features with these, turn the freezer right down to nothing, and you've got a very, very cold fridge for daily use anyway. Okay, so the back end of the boat, um, and any of the boats in our range, that's where all the action happens. So the versatility of being able to use the boat for a weekender or an overnighter or a straight day boat, hard out fishing, dive boat, all those aspects are catered here just by simply setting the back part of the boat up to how you want it. Now for those wanting to go in overnight and spend the weekend or so away, we do offer a camper canopy extension which literally doubles the size of the covered area in the cockpit and gives you plenty of room to move. And on that basis, a cockpit table that can sit in um, just on this side to uh, create a nice little aft lounge effect for you. And obviously, as I said before, we've got um, bait stations, tables, you can put barbecue and stuff on the back. All that aspect of the back part of the boat is fully covered. Okay, this is my favorite part of the boat, the helm station. This is where all the action happens. And the design of the dash seating control layout is something that the guys have spent an awful long time in the factory doing and they've got a real winner here. Everything is at your fingertips. Full blown switches down either side, virtually at arm's length while you're sitting in the cabin, uh, sitting in the cockpit, sorry. Um, the hydraulic steering and trim tab. The big dash is able to take up to a 16 inch screen. So for those of you interested in um, high, high, uh, high size, big size uh, um, um, uh, fish finder GPS units, and then with the addition of a radar on the roof, that's another option that we can talk about. So come on in and talk to us, and we'll be happy to, uh, to guide you through what you need for your electronic needs. The SP model is our open plan cabin. In other words, the, the area I'm sitting in is normally a bulkhead with louver doors on the closed cabin. But, but the SP model, interesting feature, if we move the squab aside, and cleverly concealed under that is your two burner gas stove. Great for a perk in the morning. And of course, the wine rack there for the afternoon goodies. Now to complement that, with the stove, we have a built-in LPG bottle which is exited outside the boat and there's room in there for a little uh, cutlery, uh, crockery type set for uh, your little incidentals during the day. Coming into the cabin, two big features. The small cabin fridge, which is great for keeping the little bits and pieces uh, cool over the weekend while leaving the big areas out the back for the um, liquid refreshments. But the big feature that I love about this is the enclosed head. Now this is a great 
option, very popular in the bigger 725 series because it offers you the privacy, the comfort, and the ease of use of a full-blown electric toilet. Have a look in here. Now, as an alternative to the enclosed head, which we've talked about, the other option is to have that extra space as extra bunk length, and the availability of an electric toilet under the front bunk here is another option that is used popularly by families for daytime running, perhaps. So you've got the choice of enclosed head or the electric toilet sitting under the bunk. Now, again, extending on from that for long weekends, you've got plenty of crew, somewhere to sleep the kids. We do run a double bunk pipe berth system in the front cabin, which lets the little ones sleep reasonably um, um, supported on, on what we call like a canvas pipe berth, which just means you can sleep four people in the cabin. And then of course, not forgetting the big area out the back where you can blow up an air bed and sleep another couple too. And everything collapses away and packs away during the day to give you the space you want. Okay, now in the 725, you've got three flooring options. Standard out of the factory is the gel coat, non-skid finish on the floor. And you can then add to that by a snap-in cockpit carpet, synthetic, so good and nice and soft on the feet. Or a really popular option nowadays is the new Ultralon uh, floor panels. Soft on the feet, really easy to clean, and adds a new dimension to the look of the boat. So all of our Haynes Hunter hulls from the 485 right through to the 725 series are all hand laid, the hulls. Now that ends up meaning that the boat's physically lighter but structurally stronger. So great performance and efficiency in the water with the same horsepower. Okay, so in the 725 range, we have four models. We can literally cover all the seasons aesthetically. You've got your SF725, which is your big open plan, soft top, sports fisher, normally supported by a rigid frame stainless bimini with zip out clears. Great for roaring around in summer, towing the kids skiing, getting out fishing, diving, and you love the, the, um, the wind in your face is, um, is something to behold. Then we move into the hard top series. Now, we've been through the SP725, the open plan model. We also run an SS model, which is a double bulkhead. In other words, where I'm sitting, another bulkhead with a set of teak louver doors that physically closes off the cabin and gives yourself a little bit more privacy. Now, in addition to that, we also run a fully enclosed SE Euro series. Now, the SE, is effectively a full enclosed wheelhouse. Lockable doors, bifold, teak, they've got electric windows in the rear, and that physically cuts off the midsection of the cabin from the aft section of the boat. So great if you want to take the family away, but you want to get fishing in the uh, lesser than, um, than nice conditions, and mum and the kids want to stay up the front, the SE is another model to consider. Okay, so that's the run through on the new SP725. Don't forget where we are, 50 Corley Street in Ellerslie. We're two minutes off the Ellerslie Penrose turnoff on the southern motorway. You can see us from the motorway. Just hook off left, hard left again, and we'd love to show you through. If you need to contact us by phone, 09 And don't forget, you can get us on the webpage, hainshunterhq.co.nz.